If we're going by numbers and impacts, the most influential mathematician of the 20th century was Paul Erdős. What? No doubt. Oh, that is blasphemous. You cannot be for real right now. I am now. for real right now. Go and let on. me sit down Go and educate on. you, all right? 1,500 papers. Literally, the prince of problem solvers, okay? He literally established the field of discrete mathematics, which is the foundational bedrock of computer science. Mathematicians literally invented the Erdős number to measure how close to greatness they were, okay? He's one of the greatest ambassadors to math that has ever lived. The man ate, breathed, slept mathematics every day. He literally died at a math conference for goodness sakes. Now that is some dedication. I dare you to find any mathematician who could be as dedicated and is more deserving you are of so influential mathematician than him. Baffle right now. I can't even look at you. You are ignoring the single greatest mathematical mind of the 20th century, Alexander Grotendieck, the man revolutionized algebraic geometry. He won a Fields Medal in 1966. Paul Erdős doesn't have a Fields Medal. And you know, for all that talk of the Erdős number, you know that no Fields Medalist has an Erdős number of one. Erdős never worked with and wasn't in that class oh, get out of, of here. I think you need to reevaluate your criteria for greatness, I need to Kyle. rethink my criteria? I yeah. need to rethink my criteria? Yeah, you definitely do. You have a problem. My only problem is that you're so blind to a guy like Broden Deek. The person who literally pulled a Thanos, grabbed the Infinity Gauntlet, and said, Fine, I'll do it myself. Put the mathematical community on his back. Went into isolation into France and developed mathematical ideas that we're still trying to figure out today. This guy was in another dimension. Honestly, I wish I was in another dimension from you. Yeah, and I wish my Kyle number was approaching infinity.